Hey guys and dolls, today I'm reviewing the Revlon Color Burst Lip Glosses. This is a drugstore product that you can get at Target, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, whatever drugstore you have near you. So it's really relatively inexpensive. Uh, I think these retail for anywhere from like $7.50 a pop to about um, uh, almost $10 where I bought them. I know crazy. I live in this city so things are always a little bit more expensive here unfortunately um, but what are you gonna do? Anyway um, basically I love these uh, so that's kind of the review in a nutshell but there are a few bullet points that I do want to kind of uh, touch on and kind of give you guys a well balanced review instead of just these are awesome. No they are. <laughs> so anyway the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that these this is a non-sticky lip gloss. Now a couple of years ago uh, I don't know if you guys have heard me rant about it but I used to really really detest uh, sticky lip gloss because I just didn't like the way it felt on my lips. It feels a little uncomfortable when you first start wearing them. Since then I really you know started to appreciate sticky lip glosses for what they are. These are not sticky so you do have to reapply them a little bit more often than you might have to do with say like a MAC uh, lip gloss or something. Uh, but overall that's not too big of an issue for me. I don't mind reapplying um, and I'm definitely I like to refresh my lip product whether it be lipstick, lip, lip gloss, whatever about every two hours and that's about the wear time I get with these um, and they do when they dry down they look kind of like a sheer lip balm or something. Okay so the next thing I want to talk about is the colors themselves. Uh, these are all the ones that I have are really really fantastic. They're all relatively I don't want to say they're like super super unique but they're not generic looking which is something that I always am looking for. Um, I just don't really like anything that just looks generic. I don't know how to explain it other than that. They're just kind of like these colors are all interesting. Uh, this one here is called Crystal Lilac. It is a light baby pink I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's a little bit of like a pink and violet uh, shimmer in it. It's really, really subtle. And the effect kind of reminds me of like Max Fluster Rose Luster Glass and um, Love Nectar Luster Glass where it has kind of that, you know, highlight in it, but it's not really, really loud. So it's very, very wearable. Uh, so this one is called Papaya and it's kind of a orangey coral with a little bit of like a blue pink in it so it's very flattering on a multiple you know range of skin tones really really fabulous crazy pigmented if you saw my sultry summer rose video it's like putting on liquid lipstick it's fantastic this one's called peony and it's sort of like a goldy rose with gold shimmer on it uh, the glitter in this is a little bit more obvious than it is in the others in fact I don't think this one this one just barely even has shimmer in it this one is the sheerest of all of the ones that I have uh, but it's still really attractive on the lips this last one is called rose gold it's sort of like a tannish pinkish goldish color it's just it's really 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 pretty it's really flattering it's one of those kind of your lips but better kind of deals I would have worn it with this but uh, crystal lilac goes better with the purple eye makeup and stuff really really love this one just got it yesterday and I kind of am in love just saying you get 5.66 grams for you know again anywhere between 750 and about ten dollars that's pretty awesome. The packaging of these is really, really fantastic. It's very sleek looking. You have a matte black top here with a little bit of like a crisscross pattern. Very subtly says Revlon. You know, you have all the the color visible from the outside. Long, sleek uh, tube. And then on the bottom, you have the shade name and all the information. And I just want to really briefly compare this to another uh, drugstore lip gloss that I also really really love but the packaging of it really turns me off. So this is the Milani. This is one of their 3D glitzy glamour glosses. The packaging on this is just really over the top. There's this shiny gold everywhere. I don't even know what to say. The you know the tube is huge so it's not very easy to ca I mean you can I mean obviously it's not like the size of you know a boat or something but it's just it's really big and it's really bulky it feels bulky in the hand and then on the product itself there's nowhere that it says the shade name so yeah that's just kind of something that I don't like Um, I guess it comes with like a sticker but I don't like leaving the stickers on my glosses so anyway I digress um, we're gonna go ahead and get back to Revlon so that's just one way that I really like the packaging of this it definitely reminds me of something that would be high-end or something it just it looks really classy Okay, the applicator on this is really, really brilliant. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in for you. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see the applicator. It's kind of like this thin, strangely shaped dude. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's kind of skinny and kind of comes to like a bulbous tip. And it's sort of flat on the sides. 
It makes for really, really easy, effortless application. It, it's very, you know, comfortable to put on. Doesn't give you too much or too little lip gloss. Okay, so just a couple of setbacks. Um, the scent is overall pleasant. It's kind of vanilla-ish. Overall, I would actually just prefer an unscented product just because I think that scent is so subjective. But anyway, uh, there is a slightly chemically-ishness scent to it, but it's nothing that's so offensive that I can't wear it. And after about like a minute, it completely dissipates. And you guys know I'm super sensitive to smell, so the fact that I'm giving these a seal of approval means that the scent is pretty mild and pretty deal withable. I mean, obviously I bought four of them. The only other setback is that in some places these do retail for like $9.79, which is what I paid for them. Um, I think that's pretty high for a drugstore lip gloss. Now, as I mentioned before, it's I think it's because I live in the East Bay and they jack up the price on everything here. At that point, for like $4.50 more, you can get a MAC lip gloss. But again, I actually put these on par with high end. So for me, it's it's not even really a setback. I, I just think that's a really good value. I know there are cheaper lip glosses out there, but the color, the texture and everything, this is just awesome. Especially since Revlon is always on sale somewhere. Um, in fact, when I bought a couple of these the other day, the they had like a deal where it was like, if you buy $15 worth of Revlon, you got five extra bucks back. So I did that. So I actually ended up paying, you know, $18 for these glosses. But then I basically got this one from Milani for free. So as a roundup, these are a fantastic drugstore product. The you know, the appearance of the tube and everything is very sleek and very high-end looking. Um, these actually kind of remind me a little bit of like what Chanel glosses look like now that I've ever bought those because holy cow, those are expensive. They have a few dupes of high-end glosses. Uh, for one, they had one called Bronze Shimmer. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, this looks just like Oh Baby. I almost bought it, but Oh Baby is not a color that really works for me. Um, but just to be like, dude, this looks like Oh Baby. How crazy is that? And yeah, they're great. They're non-sticky. You know, they're relatively inexpensive, especially if you can find them on sale. The colors are great. Overall, I love these. It wouldn't be a video if unless I threw something, I swear. Anyway, overall, I love these. Highly recommend them. Can't recommend them enough. And they are actually sold on their own website if you don't want to go to a drugstore if you don't have a drugstore near you or something. That'd be weird, but maybe you don't. So that's pretty much it. I hope that you're having a fantastic week, and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. Bye.